I am super excited to share with you today that a new classic Doctor Who DVD listing has appeared for the US Amazon.com website and it is none other than Doctor Who The Wheel in Space DVD. Let's talk about that more today on the Doctor Who Guide. The best box set that you can buy for Doctor Who Hey guys, welcome to the Doctor Who Guide, helping you grow your knowledge, collection, and connection with other Doctor Who fans. If you're new here, then definitely consider subscribing for new videos every single Saturday. I'm your host, Alex Patterson, and for once I'm doing a video kind of on the breaking edge of trending. I'm not doing it like four months later. So that means that I, I do want to be careful with all of the information that I put out, because we really don't know that much. All we know is that there is an Amazon listing for Doctor Who The Wheel in Space, and it's currently listed for $24.98. It says this title has not yet been released, but you can pre-order it. If a lot of people pre-order this DVD, they may be encouraged to put out other DVDs like it. So, of course, this DVD is linked in the description down below. And if it ever does come out for the UK, those links will all be in the description down below. If you use those links, you do support the channel at no extra cost to you. So that is awesome. Currently, this is the only artwork for the DVD. It's very cool artwork, um, but we don't know if this will actually be used. I did want to look more into this artwork because I saw this little signature of an N and a G there. I uh, eventually found on DeviantArt this account called Giles Kent, and it's basically artwork that is Doctor Who themed done by digital art slash professional uh, Nick Giles. That's where the N and the G come from. And the picture he has on his account is of a Region 2 version of this Wheel in Space artwork. That could be what this DVD potentially looks like if it ever comes out in the UK. Um, but all we know so far is that this is a US listing. I'm hoping that it does come out in the UK. I was first made a aware of this by uh, Lego Boy Brandon who said that Macro Terror and The Wheel in Space are animated on DVD this year and Lucky Golden Rock Studios who said do you know there is a Wheel in Space DVD coming out you can pre-order it on Amazon. Now Lego Boy Brandon mentioned the Macro Terror and Lego Boy Brandon has most likely gotten that information from a uh, Mirror article. The Daily Mirror is uh, a tabloid in, in Britain and it's very sensational and I don't believe anything that uh, the mirror says in any sort of factual way. They put out an article that says that eight Lost Doctor Who episodes from the 1960s, four episodes of the Macro Terror, and for the four missing episodes from the Wheel in Space are going to be animated and released on DVD this year. So currently, at least for the US, that article is half right. Um, but I did, I was made aware of this also by Matthew Purchase at the Cyber Devil who uh, tweeted this out. So thank you to Matthew. You're the one who helped me become aware of this. The Wheel in Space, if you don't know, is a second Doctor story from 1968 and it is a six-part story 25 minute episodes each and four of those episodes are missing and if you want to know what the missing episodes are how they went missing then you can find that out all in this playlist that I've done so there are four episodes that are missing that have to be presented in some sort of a visual way they can either do photo reconstructions which are photos from the episodes sort or of stills that are uh, put together in sort of a slideshow way and they are there with the audio on underneath because we have all of the surviving audio from the missing episodes and if done poorly like in the underwater menace it can end up feeling like a really terrible boring slideshow but if done well like many of the online fan reconstructions then um, it can be quite a joy to watch the second option is that it's going to be animated and there are really two animating styles one is a cartoon like style that you see on power of the daleks and the other is a combination of cartoon and uh, cgi that you see on like the moon base and the reign of terror and the tenth planet and that's a style i like the best rather than the ice warriors or the power of the daleks but again either of those styles in my opinion is better than a bare bones photo reconstruction. The third option, I have seen some people on Twitter say it's most likely just going to be a US DVD that's going to have the same reconstruction as the BritBox Wheel in Space. That could make sense. It could be a way for uh, a quick cash grab, as they say. Whoa, hey guys, it is Future Me from the editing booth. I just wanted to say that BritBox.com is a site exclusive to the US, and it's basically like Netflix, but entirely made up of British television shows, and it has about 90% of classic Doctor Who on their site uh, for seven bucks a month. 
They're not a sponsor, but I did sign up for an account for this video so I could see what the wheel in space reconstruction looks like. So let's dive right back into that. And I'll give you my conclusion now. Okay, so I've just had a look at the BritBox site and I didn't watch the full episode because I basically got what I needed to just enough to know what type of animation um, it is. And unfortunately, it is one of those photo reconstructions. You're not missing that much if it really does turn out that this DVD isn't animated and it's just the reconstructions. I really hope though that this is an animated release and that people in the UK will be able to get it and hopefully there will be extras. That's what it comes down to is if there are exclusive bonus features on this and good artwork on the DVD, I'm gonna get it. I'm really most excited for this release to just have a new Patrick Troughton DVD in the collection. As you know in the US we didn't get the Enemy of the World Special Edition. It'll be a nice addition to Tomb of the Cybermen from Season 5, the Ice Warriors, as well as the Web of Fear and the Enemy of the World. So we'll now have five out of the seven potential DVDs that we could have. Another possibility is that they found all of these four episodes. That would be incredible and we would just have the entire story on DVD. That would be amazing. It's very unlikely though. What do you think of the potential of the Macra Terror also coming out? I hope that that would be animated. Would you get Doctor Who DVDs if they had new features but just were photo reconstructions of the missing episodes. If you love hearing about new Dark Who DVDs, then definitely subscribe for more videos, plus a link up to a playlist of DVD announcements. Um, I did one for the Enemy of the World Special Edition, as well as the Dark Who Season 12 Blu-ray box set. I also did an in-depth analysis from which a lot of you guys saw and joined the community, so welcome. Keep growing your Dark Who knowledge, collection, and connection, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.